Hey everyone, it's Wolfren here, and I've been gone for a little while, and now I've made a journey back to Eve Echoes, uh, and you know, I thought I'd start making content again. It's been a little while, I think it's been a fair few months, and so in this video it's really just a video of me coming back to making some content, coming back to the game, because I did quit the game for a while, and just talk through a couple of those issues. I'm not going to take ages on it, uh, because I don't think it's overly complicated. The reality is, in terms of the game, I was just finding it really stressful um, between playing the game, you know, working, everything else that was happening in the world, making the content, and I just, well, just found myself I wasn't enjoying myself, it was becoming too much of a grind. And so I decided actually I was going to take a break, maybe not even come back at all. Um, I think there are a couple of things that really um, irritated me in some of the changes that were made in the game, the what I perceive as a problem with the insurance system. Um, doing a large part of the game as an indie player. I'm not entirely indie, I do a bit of everything actually, but I th felt that it was going to impact the game in some respects. Uh, and uh, I also suffered a couple of big losses. Um, not, you know, I think one was just the reality of living in Nullsec, uh, jumping through, and I lost my very expensive retriever build. Um, that was even though I was using a scout, and then I lost one of my other, uh, I lost the Cinnabal and uh, I just got a bit frustrated because of course getting those things is a grind I don't you know I don't I try not to put money in it I will put buy the occasional Omega or something like that if I haven't got enough plex to do it um, every month but I, I really didn't want to put loads of money into the game and so I just had enough and I took a break and left it really and I left it and left it at the back of my mind and then I've come back and found uh, really came back when I knew one of my characters was going to be Tech Nine, and I and I thought I was going to you know take um, a chance on it, see if it's changed, see if I like it, and see if I can get back into it. And I really have got back into it, and really am enjoying it. And so the background footage you've got is my main character, uh, which is Tech Nine, and I use the bits and pieces of Plex and the bits and pieces of Isk I had left over from when I left before, and I got myself a Dominix because as you'll know from previous videos I was grinding towards the rattlesnake which still seems a very long way off um, and what I did here I thought well the Dominic seems like a really good ship and I tell you it has been excellent I've really enjoyed it now this is amongst the first outings out with it I can tell you I know why because one of the things you'll notice is I've only got four drones because after I got the Dominic I realised I didn't have my drone skills up high enough to run five drones so I had to spend a bit of time levelling up the uh, drone skills and I had to spend a bit of time levelling up all drone skills because I had levelled up large drone skills but in fact the Dominic needs um, quite a few things and I, I'll do a bespoke video on my Dominic's build I think I've changed it from this um, which is just a fantastic PvE ship. In the background, what you can see is I'm doing a, um, I think, yeah, it's a T6 Dead Space. Uh, but using two, I use, I'm using my Dominic, so I'm using my Harbinger, because on my other main ratting character, I've got a Harbinger, which I've actually really enjoyed. Um, having bear in mind, I've come from a Phantasm with that character. Um, I wanted something just a bit more DPS and perhaps just nowhere near as expensive if I lost it. Now I've lost that Harbinger once uh, through a mistake in a dead space and um, luckily I could get that back on the old system of um, ship recovery which was just phased out um, and so at least got the ship back I didn't get the fittings but at least got the hull back uh, and the Harbinger is really great again I'll do a whole video on the Harbinger and my fit I've been through several different iterations of my Harbinger and currently I'm really happy with it um, it's a it's a it's a tanky beast that I've created with that, so that's been really good. Um, and speaking about that, both these ships are insured, so I did and I do still potentially think insurance has an impact on industry generally. The whole creating ships out of thin air, creating modules out of thin air, and not having all the market. But we well, I'm not going to get too deep into it. But the reality is, it's here and. Actually, for PvE players, for PvP players, it's a good thing. Um, because the reality is I can insure my relatively expensive battleship and insure my battle cruiser for 30% of the cost. If I lose it, then I can um, then I get it back. 
uh, in PvE, if I lose it in PvP, I get it back. I get a 12 hour lock on it if it's on PvP. But yeah, that's the reality of the game. And so, in some ways, I quite like that because if it encourages more people to be a little bit more aggressive in PvP, take chances, I'm all for that. I'm not saying bankrupt yourself playing it, but uh, when I get onto it, my other ult, which is my PvP ult, uh, who runs frigates and is now running an arbitrator interdictor is um uh has lost the arbitrator interdictor i think twice <laughs> so far so i'm by no means one of the great pvpers of this game um but it is good fun and with insurance at least it doesn't cost me an arm and a leg to replace every time not that i'm running a really expensive build again i'll run through that at some point in in terms of videos um but one of the main things I've managed in this game is I've been on it for about two weeks now. And what I've managed to do in those two weeks has actually been really good. And so this is my main, obviously I'm in Jeter at the moment. And I'll just show you, I think I might have been on, so a bit longer than two weeks. Because I know I started the Omega. And I just had the Omega Basic, that's what I paid for. Um, and... Uh, to get myself back on and running and what you what I've managed to do is I've managed to build enough plex on this character to pay for Omega Duo so um, I've got the 500 plex in my balance that's all been done through ratting and everything else and I wanted to show people a it's doable um, and that once you're up and running, and I accept this is a Tech 9 character, so you know it's going to be a little bit harder on lower tech tiers. Um, and I will do a video going through the system of how I plexed up, but I've got my plex for 500 days. I'm going to purchase my. Um, and there we go. I've got uh, my basic and my standard plex uh, up. And what my plan is to do is. Um, carry on building Plex in this character he's going to have to also as I funnel a lot of my ISK through this if you've seen my other videos you'll see that I run multiple characters um, to do all sorts of various different things but yeah in about two weeks I was able to pay for my Dominics now bear in mind I did have some leftover ISK and leftover Plex on multiple characters some of that Plex I used to buy um, some of that Plex I used to buy uh, Omega for some of those characters I did have to pay for this character uh, and I've used you know whatever risk assets I had left over to get my Dominic sorted to get my Harbinger sorted and a couple other bits and pieces to to really get it together but it's been enjoyable I've really enjoyed doing um, part of the grind uh, and I'll go through my system of how I make ISK to pay for the various things I've got at the moment um, it's not really complicated but it's something that you can do all of what I do, you can do parts of what I do, um, and you can just enjoy the game and enjoy the aspects of the game that you want to enjoy. One of the aspects I did enjoy, of course, was the industry, and I have scaled that back a fair bit in light of the fact that he just doesn't make as much isk as something like Ratting does. Um, and so I still do a mixture of different things, I keep skilling different characters up. This one I am skilling up, and you see I'm still skilling into Drone, um, I'm doing advanced drone, I'm getting stuff sorted from battleship. Um, I currently shield tank the Dominics because all my skills in maintenance are in shield operation and none in armour, so I am going to get my armour sorted and everything else, but at the, Domin the Dominics has actually been really good for the ratting and, and I want to bring you more videos. So, in, in that theme, I've already out laid out the sort of videos I'm going to do and I want to show you um, various different aspects of the game and you know, just take part really to show you what I do, show you bits that I have fun doing and I really want to engage with other people, see what they like to do, if they've got video ideas or things that you want me to explain or go into by all means drop me a comment on the video um, drop me a message um, one way or another, there's plenty of ways to do it 
and uh, and thank you very much for watching and if you have stuck through subscribing all this time when I've not been producing videos I'm really grateful thank you very much and let's hope there's gonna be more content generally I'm going to try and do about a video uh, once a week I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself to churn out absolutely tons of content I'm going to try and do bits and pieces I don't intend to do hugely long videos this is a short video I plan to do just to say I'm back I'm back up and running uh, and I'm really enjoying Eve so Eve echoes uh, so thanks for watching